Hello and welcome to Dami Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug says Denise. This is the way my name was spelled on my birth certificate. Not spelled that way anymore. I actually changed the spelling. Um, and it talks about the meaning of being the goddess of wine and a whole lot of other information about that here. Um, I can't remember where I got this coffee mug. I think I saw it and picked it up on my own. It's a very old coffee mug. I've had it for a very long time. Obviously, since I don't spell my name like that anymore. Um, haven't spelled my name like this for 20 or 30 years now. So this is a very old coffee mug. Today's tea is a mix of cinnamon vanilla and salted caramel. Um, we had a few really nice warm days where the sun was out, or at least we had only a few clouds cutting across the sky. And then yesterday and last night, it just got wet and rainy. And then today it is back to being cold. Winter just does not want to give up. I do suspect we're heading into a very wet spring, however. Um, the word is, is that we're gonna have a few more hurricanes than usual this year. Not looking forward to that. Anyway, I'm gonna give this a sip. sip. I can talk. Um, Cause you know, it is really, it's not just cold on the outside because of the kind of apartment we live in. Um, it gets stays pretty chilly on the inside too. Uh, I suspect that's one of the reasons I have lost a few of my seedlings is that it's just gotten too cold for some of them. Uh, some of the others appear to be doing okay, struggling, but okay. But anyway, I need to warm up with a sip of this tea. Oh, that is so good. So good. And of course, as I talk about us not having sun and it being cold, guess what comes out? It won't stay. So today we are getting into the April Yes Oh Yes. Now I don't know why they switched from a box to a bag, but I can live with that. Um, really looking forward to opening this. I'm also going to have a quick discussion about what happened with the April bag. And uh, yeah, we'll do that in a minute because first, first, we have unfinished business with um, March's box. So in March's box, we got um, a nail kit, a, uh, I got a nail kit, a, um, a tooth polishing kit, and a palette. So let's go ahead and get into that, starting, starting with the nail kit. Okay, so the nail kit came with um, this uh, magic buffer that has four different sides on it. You can see I have been using it. It came with a nail file. Honestly, both sides of this feel the same to me. So, not sure why they have one side dark and one side not, but there we go. It came with a cuticle oil. And it came with this hand and body lotion. Overall, I will say I haven't had much opportunity to use these. Things like the um, cuticle oil and the rest of the system are used once or twice a week. So I've only used these like three, maybe four times since I've gotten them. I will say that the um, Magic Buffer just seems to add time to my uh, nail routine and doesn't really seem to do anything. Um, with one exception, I have one nail on this hand that is extremely ridged for some reason and um, the buffer you're supposed to go across the top of your nail using this did help remove some of those ridges and smooth it out which means my polish is much more smooth but for the rest of my nails I really didn't mo notice much of a difference for this this is like almost any other nail file for me other than the fact that both sides have the same texture neither side feels rougher neither side feels smoother um, so it's a nail file. It's I, I don't find it to be anything special. The cuticle oil, I don't know what the purpose of this is. 
Um, the good thing is, is you don't use a lot of it. You just put one drop on your nail, you rub it in um, around the cuticle, you rub it in. Um, I do find that I have to take a second uh, pad or um, cotton ball or something and wipe it off because you don't want the oils on the nail when you put on your polish. Um, that prevents the polish from adhering to the nail. Um, so, but I haven't noticed a difference around my cuticles using this. But like I said, again, I've only used it a few times and it may require more time to see any kind of difference and not knowing what I'm looking for, I couldn't even tell you what the difference is. I will continue to use it. But like I said, I'm just not quite sure what the purpose is. If any one of you uh, knows and does your nails and has a good idea, I would love to know what the purpose of this is. Because if it doesn't do much, I'm not sure I'd want to keep it up. I did like the hand and body lotion. According to the system directions, which we had to find online, by the way, um, you're supposed to use this after you do your whole nail thing. You're supposed to put this on your hands after you do all of your polishing and buffing and all that, but before you actually apply your nail polish. Again, like this oil, I don't do that because um, like the oil, it can prevent your polish from adhering to your nails. Um, and, and I found that out because I noticed that I had polish literally peeling off in sheets I had whole the whole nail polish come off so I did a search on it and if you have oils and things on your nails it's going to prevent it from adhering and staying in place I do use this as part of my nighttime routine when I go to bed um, I like it it's very light um, it's smooth um, you do not need a lot that's the only thing is that it's stiff to open and I'm always afraid I'm gonna wake my husband up that little bit right there covers my whole hand both hands just easily that is how light and smooth and creamy it is I find that it does leave my hands and my fingers feeling nice and smooth and soft uh, it, it does give the kind of moisturizer moisturizing effect that I'm looking for um, around my nails is better using um, that lotion and probably the cuticle oil too but I'm not sure um, overall this was a $75 value, and I honestly think it's overpriced. Um, I don't think it's something I would, I definitely know I wouldn't buy it on my own. And I, at this point, I doubt that I would replace any of these items once they're gone. I, I'm sure we can find more affordable cuticle oils. I know I have more affordable and just as good um, lotions for my hands and the nail files like I said they really this just adds time and really doesn't do much I will probably keep it for the ridges on my uh, one nail that I have problems with but this is just a nail file I can get these um, in a pack of two for two to three dollars so in fact I've got one that's really cute that has little roses all over it that I really like so overall this is eh, I'm using it. I don't mind using it. I haven't noticed a huge difference in my nails or polish or how anything works other than adding time. And I wouldn't repurchase, wouldn't repurchase any of it. Not a bad deal. Usable. Not one of the best things. This was just in the middle kind of thing. Not horrible. Just, you know. One of those things. This, this box was just kind of interesting, I think, in that respect. So the Coco Beauty, the Beauty Coco, a tooth polish, came comes with the polish. Um, it's a black powder, um, charcoal powder, and then it also came with a toothbrush. Uh, I stopped using the toothbrush within a week. This thing, it just didn't feel like it was, um, it, it didn't feel like it was doing a good job for even just regular brushing. Forget using the polish. It just didn't feel like it was, 
a very good toothbrush overall. I don't like the bristles. Um, I don't like the narrowness. I kind of like the ones that have the little extra dips, um, little extra pieces on top that can get into the back area of your mouth more easily. Um, so this just wasn't interesting to me, didn't work for me, and I stopped using right away. As for the polish, I did use it twice a day for about two to three weeks. I only stopped using it last week, I think, when I got um, um, one of those whitening toothpastes in another box. Um, didn't see a difference in my teeth. Now, to be fair to this, my teeth are a mess. And I'm willing to admit it's one of the reasons why I don't smile a lot, try not to show my teeth too much. They are a mess. And I honestly probably would take professional cleaning to get through anything. And even then, I don't know how white my teeth would get. I seriously don't think they'd get that white. So, um, so this had its work cut out for it from the beginning of the whole thing. I just didn't, I doubted it was going to do anything. And I, if it did anything, it was minimal at best. But the other thing is that it is messy. It is really, really messy. You have to get your toothbrush damp and dip it in, and then you pick it up and you put it in your mouth. And, um, Seriously, one of the, <laughs> there was a point where my husband came in and asked me, what is all the black stuff that's showing up in, this, in the bathroom? It was this. This stuff is just, it may do a good job for people who do not have my issues. It may do a good job for well, just people that don't have my issues. However, it is really messy. It is not something I would much rather have a charcoal based toothpaste which is a lot less messy and a lot less problematic i can't give this to anybody except maybe one of the girls and i probably won't this whole thing is probably going to get thrown out um because you have to dip your toothbrush into it to get the product and that contaminates the product and makes it so it's not usable by anyone else so this was a total miss for me didn't work didn't do what it said it was going to do messy just all around not anything i would ever buy again not anything i'd ever try if this ever comes in a kit again it'll probably go into project beauty share or something just not a product for me so the palette i received was the bella pierre x well the bella pierre 12 go natural this is a pretty palette um you'll see that there's some marks that was not there this palette was in good condition when I got it. It's been through a few things since then. Um, it is a very pretty palette. The colors actually remind me of the Urban Decay Naked 3. And because of that, I took the Urban Decay Naked 3 off of my wish list or my loves list over at Sephora. It's one that I've been wanting to get. This one has a couple of extra darker colors. Um, but other than that, these all in here are pretty close to what the Naked 3 would look like. It performs very well. Um, the uh, colors per work better with a soft brush. I don't know if you can see this here. When you use a harder brush, there, you get that kind of pebbling effect. A couple of them have it. Um, so using a softer brush works better on this. It is very pigmented. I'm actually wearing some of it like under my brows today and the darker color on the outer side is also from this palette. So it's very pigmented. It is very workable. However, a lot of these shades, if you look at them, are just really similar to each other. This one here and this one here. They're very, very similar. There's not much difference. This is just a slightly darker one version of this one. And this is slightly darker and shimmery of this. Um, the real interesting colors are probably these three on the end and this gold. Um, so the colors are really similar. It is very, very neutral. It's not very bright. I'm into brighter colors lately. Um, so I like it. It's, it works. It's got some, like I said, it's got beautiful pigmentation. Um, and I'm going to keep it for now. I was pleasantly surprised. I was actually expecting this to be a little bit, um, less quality than it ended up being, um, in terms of 
pigmentation and blendability and the softness of the shadows. I didn't notice a whole lot of kickback. I didn't notice a whole lot of um, fallout. Um, however, I, while I am keeping it and while I am pre pleasantly surprised by it, um, I'm honestly not sure how often I'll reach for it. Keeping it for now, we'll see how often I reach for it. I am glad that I got it in the sense that it saved me $54 because I was really interested in the pinks and the beautiful, I mean, I thought the Urban Decay Naked 3 was a very beautiful palette, but this has shown me that I am would have been wasting my money because I probably wouldn't use it that often. But really nice palette, keeping it. Not sure I'll reach for it, and we'll see what happens to it in the future. It may end up just getting, what I do is naturally declutter as I go through things over time. I realize I'm not using something, so I declutter it. I don't do big decluttering videos. I don't want to hoard anything that I have. I do not have the space to do that. So things get naturally decluttered, and this may end up being naturally decluttered, but for now I'm keeping it, and hopefully I'll use it a little bit. We'll see. Like I said, prefer brighter colors. And these colors here are just too, I've got colors similar to these and they're all way too similar. So we'll see what happens with it in the future. Um, so that was last month's box because it was a box last month. This month we got a bag. Last month we got a box. Um, not a horrible box, not an impressive box. Um, the nail kit is cool. It's not one of my favorite things in the universe. Um, I'm using it. I will continue to use it till it's out. I will use this on, on occasion. Um, but I wouldn't say it was one of my favorites. I think I only have uh, one other box that I received from um, them that is a little lower on the list and that would have to be my first one. Okay, so let's talk about first what happened with this bag. I think it was back in February. It might have been January, but it started to really come up to a head in February. Um, basically, this bag should have a crown brush set, and that brush set has, I believe, I think, 12 brushes in it. So when they started advertising this bag, they started advertising it as um, having 17 items, so or something like that. And how much can we give you? They were counting each of the brushes in here as a separate item rather than part of a set. And it caused quite a stir on uh, social media that they were advertising that way. Because any other um, subscription box, any other subscription bag would advertise that as one item in a bunch of items. Yes, you are getting... 12 items but you're getting one product because it's a set and that's not how they took it and as a result of saying that you're getting 17 items for this low price um they started getting inundated i mean just overwhelmed by demand so the next thing that happened was they were suddenly talking about having variations on their boxes. Now, we already knew that there were variations on their boxes anyway. Not everybody from March got the set. Um, so there were already variations happening. They just didn't advertise this is a variation or this is a variation. They were saying people will be getting. And the third thing that kind of made it an issue was that they well, there's a couple of things. One, they had a, once you purchase, there's a no refund policy. So people found out what was going on and were canceling and not getting refunds. And the way they bill is when you join, they bill you right away. They take that money out right away. I actually don't have a problem with that. Um, BoxyCharm, the first time I tried to get on BoxyCharm, they don't bill you right away. They are supposed to tell you when you're going to be off the waiting list and um, bill you after that. I had a thing where they did not do that. I did not receive a notice about being off the waiting list until after they attempted to bill me. 
I didn't have the money in the account and it kicked me back to the waiting list. I would have much rather have been told, you're off the waiting list and have already paid for that box. I don't have a problem with that. And the other thing is, is that they were also, they are apparently a sister company to um, another subscription box called Soul Theory. And Soul Theory has a bad rep for its customer service. So a lot of people were getting very upset and I understand. So a lot of us ambassadors and um, a few other, um, they have another level above ambassador that's a part of their program. We're contacting them and telling them, you can't do this. First of all, saying 17 items for one product is bait and switch. Uh, the way they were advertising was really upsetting people. And the ambassadors were taking the flack for it. So I was one of the ambassadors who emailed and said, look, you cannot do this. This is not the way to advertise. We have people getting very upset about how you're advertising. And now all of a sudden you're saying not everybody's going to get everything in this bag. You're telling people that they're going to get this bag and then saying, oh, wait, we sold out. You're going to get the next bag and so on and so forth. Things have died down since then. I've been watching their advertising on their IG, which is where you will primarily find them is on their Instagram. They have done much better. Now, when this initially blew up, I was like, I'm going to get my April bag and I'm going to get out because I don't want to be associated with those kinds of tactics to get customers. Um, but like I said, since then, things have calmed down. They seem to have adjusted how they are um, advertising at least a little bit. Um, they are like the nail kit. They didn't, granted, this was earlier in, in the program, it was before this month's bag, but they aren't saying you're getting six items from the nail kit. You're getting, we're not seeing that. Um, haven't seen too much come up in terms of kits, so we're going to have to watch that. But what I think happened was they were are a fairly new um, subscription, associated with Soul Theory or not. This is a fairly new subscription and they are trying to get products like every other subscription box out there. They wanted to get known and they wanted to get um, customers. And so they did their advertising a bit wrong. I think they've corrected that. But as a result of that advertising, I think they also got very overwhelmed with subscriptions and they did not handle that well either. Um, my understanding is that they now sort of instituted a wait list. If you come in mid month and they're sold out, you won't get that month's back. And they usually let you know when they're sold out, or at least they used to. Um, I hope they still do. I'd have to look. The way IG updates now, you can't, you don't get everything in chronicle, chronological order, so you can't always tell. Um, <clears throat> I think, I'm hoping that they've learned from that, that they've learned from the outcry from their ambassadors and their associates and will not advertise like that again in the future. Um, I'm watching them. That's what I'm doing. I'm watching them. I'm going to stay with them for now. Um, a lot of people were saying that they think they're a scam. I don't think they're a scam. I think they just made some major huge missteps. And from what I'm seeing, they've learned from them. And so if you wanna be cautious about joining and wanna wait a few months, that makes perfect sense to me. Um, I do have a code down below that would give you 10% off your first bag. Um, <clears throat> But I could understand people going, well, there was all this furor and it was all negative press and I don't want anything to do with that. I could understand that. They never did apologize. Now, I think they should have done that. They never did apologize for what happened, but I think they are going forward by not doing those things. We're going to have to watch. Like I said, I'm going to watch them. And I don't want to be associated with anybody who's going to be misleading like that. So if they do that kind of thing again, 
I will be getting out and I will be removing their link from my page. But for right now, to me, it looks like they went, oh crap, we shouldn't have been doing this. Okay, we're not going to do that. And they're doing things in a more appropriate manner, if that makes sense. So all that said, I've been keeping quiet about that for a while because I was pretty, pretty pissed off in February when this started coming up and I was getting attacked for what they were doing. Um, going to keep an eye on them. If this kind of stuff comes up again, I will probably um, cancel my subscription at that point because I, I want you guys to trust me. I, that's one of the reasons I do my reviews the way I do. I want you guys to feel that it, what I have to say um, actually means something. And if I'm representing a company that cannot, that has to use um, those kinds of tactics to get subscribers or whatever, um, and to get your money, um, then I don't want to be associated with that. I also think that with the whole thing with the no refund, that they should refund money. But there is a way to avoid that whole problem, and that is to not cancel until your bag is shipped. Once it's shipped, if you want to cancel, then cancel. Uh, between shipping and when you would get charged again. That's been my solution with every box I have, um, just because I don't know who ha does and does not have a no refund policy. So rather than deal with it, I get the last bag, then cancel. So with all that out of the way, I hope that helps explain some of the furor over this. And I still do like the subscription. I do like what I've been getting for the most part last month's box notwithstanding we always get stuff boxes always come in every subscription I've been a part of has had uh, months that I've loved and months that I've not loved every single one the only ones that I actually tend to cancel are the ones that where I'm consistently giving away the stuff that I'm getting like Lola box most of that stuff I wasn't keeping um, so let's move on Let's move on. Hopefully all of that cleared some of that up for you. I, you'd want to ask a question down below. I'd be happy to answer it. I want to get this open without much further ado and without um, making this thing too much longer. So I haven't even opened it. Uh, there are variations. I know about the brushes. I do not know about anything else. <clears throat> Put my scissors down. My understanding is they have cards in here now. Let's see if I can find. Oh, I'm not fine. Oh, they have a paper, not a card. So their theme this month is Color Me Pretty, an incredible form of self-expression. Makeup should be acknowledged for what it truly is, art. Yes, oh, yes. Yes, it should. On the box, it tells what's in here and what the retail value is. I'm going to take a look at that later. Uh, okay, so I'm going to pull out this big old package first because we know what this is. This is the crown brush set. And honestly, this has 11 or 12 brushes plus the case. I probably won't keep the case. But um, I don't know if we're going to be able to fit any more in my little spinny thing. I got to say, I'm loving this. This was the best purchase I made. Love this. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Highly recommend. If you need a way to store brushes, it makes it, I can spin it around and it makes it really easy for me to get to anything in there. But anyway, let's open this up. Um, and one of the reasons I probably won't keep this case, one, I I have a little uh, travel thing that I use that has brushes in it for me that I can use. I don't travel like to New York or any place over long term, so I don't need anything big. And it's pink. I not Pink is okay. Not big on pink. It has a snap opening. And there's our brushes. So we've got... Every single brush has, is covered in plastic. 
that's cool. And I can pull these all out later. I'm going to be looking at it. it has a little thing on top and then has plastic on the bottom. They feel really heavy and sturdy. This is really soft. Uh, there's a couple that are kind of out of place, but it, there's no shedding at this point. There's no smell. I love the, the logo on there. Oh, I could put it like, uh, there we go. Logos on there. There are no numbers. There's no indication what you're supposed to use it for, but that's okay too, because honestly, um, this is supposed to be a buffer brush. I use it for foundation. This is supposed to be a foundation brush. I use it for primer. So I don't pay attention. So this is a really beautiful brush. I could probably use this for contouring or powdering or whatever. Let's take a look at some of these others. I'm not going to take them all out. I'm really interested in this fan brush. This is a little thinner than I expected it to be. A little... the bristles are going a little further out. I was hoping to use this for highlight, but I would want to use something a little thicker. So I probably wouldn't. Um, not sure if I'm going to keep this one. So far, I have tried two different types of fan brushes. I haven't liked either one. Anyway. And we also have... Some different eyeshadow brushes, an eyeliner brush. We have a comb and we have a spoolie. So those are all neat. Really looking forward to getting into and using that because I love brushes. That's exciting. Let's move on to what else is in here. What else do we got here? I got three different things in here. So what are you? This is Galactic eyeliner. Now I have a friend who loves Girlactic. Okay. Oh, that's weird. That's a weird tip. It's kind of, it's supposed to be gray. Kind of a nice pigment. Felt really soft. Looking forward to using that. Felt really soft. It's a, it's obviously a spin to get it up to get more product out. Sorry, we won't go there. Next we have Manicadar Beauty. How are you? There were some spoilers I missed, which I don't mind. You are. Flutter Mascara in black. I've not tried. I've liked the Manicadar things I've tried so far. A couple of them. That is a thick wand. Oh, look at the shape of that. Now, I had another one that had a similar shape on it. And I didn't like it. Felt like it was much easier to poke my eye out. The... These are plastic bristles, which I also tend not to like, but I will give it a try. I mean, if I don't like it, one of my girls will take it. And that doesn't want to completely turn the way it's supposed to. There we go. We got it. So there we got that. Reaching back in for our last item. Bella Terra Mineral Cosmetics mineral bronzer and it is a powder it's a loose powder okay it has a sifter on it thank god let's get this thing off of here maybe there we go yeah no sifter would be a bad thing for Nami <laughs> Oh, come on. I had a piece of the protector stick in there. Alrighty, I'm going to do this. Tap a little out. Very little out. 
trying it. I want you to get a good look at it. That's what it looks like on the lid. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's kind of a pretty, it is a pretty bronzy, golden bronzy color. The powder, I don't know if you see that. It, it looks a little chunky. Hmm. So let's take some of this. It did flatten out on my finger pretty well. It was kind of a coppery color. That's pretty. That's very pretty. Okay, looking. I'm actually looking forward to trying that. Bellaterra has Bellaterra and the other one, Bella Pierre, have been kind of hit or miss for me. So we'll see. Um, I'm more used to the pressed powders, but I'm willing to give that a try. Um, so overall, I think I'm pretty happy. The only thing I'm not particularly sure about is the mascara and that's mostly because of the wand um willing to give this a try it looks like it's an interesting and decent color willing to give this a try and of course the brush set is a hit with me brushes always are so that's it for today i hope you like what you've seen if you have please subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you know when I upload again. And I hope we have you all come by again. And when you do, don't forget to bring your cup of tea.